A DHCP server is perhaps the easiest server service to set up in SUSE Linux. Using the YAS system tool unique to SUSE Linux makes setting up the DHCP server incredibly simple. Let's get started. We go to YAST, enter the administrative account password, and then find Network Services DHCP Server. A wizard will guide us through the setup. Important steps to keep in mind, always choose an interface with a statically assigned IP address. Then we have to fill in the basic information. In this case, I've made up a domain dnet220.dnet. And since our next tutorial will show how to set up a DNS server, we'll go ahead and put that information in now. Just the IP address of this server. There's no secondary DNS. We'll also provide a default gateway. Then we have to provide the start and end IP addresses for the range that we would like to dole out to our clients. I'll choose 11 through 99. Also, we want to select when booting as starting the service. Otherwise, you would have to manually start and stop the service. That's it. Now we'll go to our Windows 7 DHCP client and configure that. I've set the Windows 7 client to DHCP. You can see it has the auto-generated 169 address. We'll go ahead then and do ipconfig renew, which will cause the client to request a new address setting. We can see that it has correctly gotten the first address in the range of addresses that we set aside. We'll do a test ping. No problem. We'll also want to do an IP config all. The reason for this is we want to verify that the domain suffix and the DNS server are also coming across correctly in the settings. That's it. We have a working DHCP server. This concludes the tutorial.